Maca is guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maca here with an easy gamer score guide for the pedestrian, which is on Xbox Game Pass. There is a new method available which allows us to do the game in about five minutes using a developer debug menu. Now, I actually really like this game, and if you played it normally, it would take around three to four hours, but I know you guys want that easy gamer score fix, so let me show you this new way. Before getting started, I do have a couple of people to thank for how this method was developed. I originally heard about it about a month ago from Salim, aka Mr. Krabby in Twitter DMs. More recently, Lior V found the debug menu and Irahuto R48 posted it to True Achievements. For those unfamiliar, a debug menu is basically a special set of commands that a developer can use during the testing phase of their game, and to access it in this game, you're gonna click in the left stick, the right stick, and press the right bumper at the same time. It'll bring up this tiny menu in the left-hand corner, which I will zoom in on so that you can see it better, but we're only gonna be interacting with three different buttons. You want to focus your attention on column one and buttons three, four, and five. You want to change the level area to lobby, the specific area to warehouse trans four, and then press reload game. This will automatically shoot you into that specific part of that specific level, and you'll unlock an achievement as soon as you start walking around. This is what the entire strategy depends on. Reopen up the debug menu, and now in the third slot, select subway. In the fourth slot, select Subway Trans 3, and then press Reload Game. Now, for some of these, movement will be required after we respawn, and this is one of those cases. So as soon as you do gain control of your character, just walk to the left, walk through the door, and into the next scene. This should unlock your achievement. And then you can bring the debug menu back up. For the next location, we're going to choose the area called Downtown and the level called Sewer Trans 1. Once we do load in and get control of our character, we're going to walk to the left through the door into the next scene in order to unlock the achievement. After bringing back up the debug menu, we're gonna go to University, and the level is called Campus Hub. And here again, reload your game and wait for the loading screen. Once you're in, you can just continue to wait for a couple of seconds until it unlocks. This next one took me quite a while in order to find it, but Inner City, and the actual individual levels called Inner City Trans 5. There's a lot of levels to go through, and if you miss it, you gotta go through all of them again. But this is another easy one in the sense that as soon as you load in, the achievement will pop for you without having to really do anything. We bring the debug menu back up, we go to train station, and the individual scene is Tower Train Station Trans 1, quite a long one there. This is another easy one because as soon as we load in, it should unlock, although the next one does take a couple more seconds. For the next one, load up the debug menu, choose Rooftops, and for the level, choose Arc 2 Sub. Once we find that, we can reload the game in order to spawn in. This one should spawn us on an elevator, and we will need to basically walk to the left and interact with the button in order to move it. The button you'll need to press is B, which activates and interacts with it. The achievement will only unlock once you reach the top. For the next achievement, we will stay in the same overall area, which is rooftops, but the individual level is arc three sub. This is another one where we'll need to quickly do a movement. Once you do spawn in, just jump up to the middle ledge, as you see here. Once you're near the middle, drop down to the bottom middle and then walk to the left and through the door. This will get you onto the next screen where the achievement unlocks. 
We are almost done. The next one is another easy one. The overall area is called Finale, and we're choosing the main elevator level. As soon as we spawn in, we will have to do a quick movement. Just walk to the right through the door to go from picture to picture. And once this happens, the achievement unlocks. Now the last one is by far the most involved. It's in the apartments and we have to go to the apartment. This is basically the ending of the game. Once you do spawn in, things may look a little bit weird as it doesn't actually spawn in all of the elements of the level if you use the debug menu. From where you start, press Y to disconnect from the puzzle and then B to back out. If you turn around almost 180 degrees, you'll notice a machine off a little bit in the distance. Walk towards it and interact with it, pressing the B button. This will turn it on. You can then turn back around and you should notice a computer. Not far from that computer is a floppy disk floating in space. Pick up that floppy disk using the B button, walk over to the computer and press B to lock into the computer and automatically insert the disk. You can then back out. Once that's done, turn around to the puzzle that we started with. It's this board with the metal crate on it. Interact with the button to open it up. Interact with the puzzle in order to go into puzzle mode and then use the A button to connect the top ladder to the bottom ladder. Once connected, you can press the Y button to go into the actual screen to do the puzzle. With the guy, jump to the right and climb down the ladder. Here behind the puzzle piece, grab the key using the B button and open the door. Drop back down and then disconnect from the puzzle using Y. And then you can disconnect again using B. From here, you want to turn around and locate the green light floating in space. Walk towards it, and if you keep walking, a boat should spawn off in the distance. It does have some pop-ins, so you may not see it right away. Just keep walking in that direction, and you'll notice the boat right in front of you. The boat is how the game ends, so we're going to walk into the boat itself. Once you step onto the boat, your final achievement should unlock. You should have your 1000 gamer score. Congratulations. Feel free to check up. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Share this video with a friend. A special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. I'll see you soon. Peace.